the decision to start Clint kind of went into that what went into that you know, this week? Well, uh, you know, at halftime we were we we're really needing him to you know give us a spark and. Uh, you know, we've been struggling with some passing yards down the field, and he made a couple plays that, uh, you know, really helped us. And just really feel like at this point, you know, he's uh, earned a chance to have a spot to start and lead the offense. With the reps, I mean, because he's, you know, now the starter, mm -hmm. does he get maybe more than the number one guy, like say more than Barrett was getting last week, kind of thing to kind of bring him? Yes, that's definitely true, you know, because he's been getting about 30% of the reps. And so we did, he got a heavy amount of the reps today, which he needed, uh, especially with, uh, you know, the new wrinkles or, you know, anything as far as our game plan is concerned. Do you expect the fact that Clint's going to be a quarterback to change the, the plays you call or your play calling behavior? You know, I think anytime you've got another quarterback, you know, as a play caller, you think it's a little bit different because each quarterback has his own set of strengths. And uh, so I'd say there may be something to that. I mean, uh, him and Barrett are similar, but uh, Clint does have a few things, uh, you know, unique to him. How's Barrett been handling it? Barrett's a champion. Uh, Barrett's a great competitor. And, uh, you know, the unfortunate thing for him is, is you know, uh, all this is not his fault. I mean, we've got – uh, other issues around that need to be cleaned up and shored up. And uh, if you ask him, I know he'd like to have some of the things back, but he's uh, provided very good leadership for us. Um, you know, he's a very tough-minded uh, young man, and uh, he's a team guy. What are those things that make Clint different? Well, uh, you know, Clint, uh, he has that knack to do things once things break down. And uh, you saw that a little bit Saturday. He made a couple plays when things broke down. And... Uh, you know, he's got a little bit of the gunslinger in him. And uh, really, the bottom line is we just feel like he deserves a chance, um, you know, to, to lead our offense and see see if, uh, you know, he can take this offense a little higher. You went after him, Gus, when he was in the role, at Leroy, when a lot of other mm -hmm. big schools didn't. Mm -hmm. What did you see in him? Kind of well, the, he was a playmaker. And the fact that, uh, you know, he, he won three uh, state championships, I believe he was the MVP, he knows how to win. And uh, he has the ability to make plays when things break <laughs> down. And, uh, you know, you always look for somebody that's used to winning. And the fact he was from Alabama, Mr. Football, didn't, didn't hurt either. You know, once again, Saturday, <clears throat> it's no surprise, Lester Kirchman comes up with a couple of big mm -hmm. clutch catches. What is it about this guy where you just see, every catch seems to be yeah. clutch? Well, you know, he, he's, he's just one of those, has that unique uh, gift that he can go get the football, he can get open. Uh, he's got the ability to make the big play when you need it, and uh, he's done that for us, you know, the last two and a half years. When you're evaluating a player like Clint from a, a real small school versus a, a player at like a 6A school or something, do you have to, I guess, give it more scrutiny or maybe look at it just because the competition isn't the same that you'd be facing in a big? Well, I think anytime a quarterback, um, you've got to really do your homework, and not just on the field and film. You got to be around them, know what kind of uh, person they are. Um, you know, the quarterback's the face of your program, and it, it, there's a lot of things going to it, character, leadership, uh, you know, are they used to winning, uh, and all those things, you know, uh, not just film, go into that. Let's talk a little bit about LSU's defense, what you've seen from studying them. Yeah, uh, they're very talented. Um, they're very quick. I mean, they've got speed, but they also have quickness. And, you know, some defenses, you know, have one or the other, but uh, they do have both. Uh, their coordinator is one of the best uh, in the business, and you know he's got the pieces of the puzzle right now. And they make you earn it. They make you earn it, and uh, they uh, they really are aggressive. You know, Clint is a much more emotional person than Barrett is. Mm -hmm. Is that something you've worked with him on through the years to kind of calm that part of him mm -hmm. down? Or you just let him be who he is. Well, I mean, I think he's grown up a lot. Um, you know, I think if you ask him, he would say that. And uh, you know, there's there's certain things to being emotional that can really be positive. Uh, at the same time, you've got to be – you can't get too high or too low, uh, especially in this league uh, from week to week. And uh, But I'm real proud of where he's come from, and he has gotten more mature uh, even in this season as far as that's concerned. And have you tried to actually modify him to be used to calm him down a little Well, bit? I think as a coach you try to uh, tell your players, specifically quarterbacks, you know, what it takes to be successful, uh, what the expectations are for the quarterback position. And uh, so it's a little bit of both. 
is this a game where you really need to draw offensive line that maybe play its best of, of the season considering how good LSU's front is? Yes, I mean, there's no doubt about that. But, I mean, we got to be play better at every position. Um, you know, there's there's some uh, – we have some deficiencies, but we've got to overcome them. And uh, we've got to find a way to be a, be more efficient on offense. We've got to find a way to score points. And it's going to be a challenge this week. But, uh, you know, I really believe our guys, uh, you know, have a good attitude. And, uh, you know, I, I really believe they bought into our plan. Do you feel like you're going to have to simplify for Clint this weekend? No, I don't. Yeah. No, I, don't. I, mean, I know he can run a full complement of the offense. He's been there a long time. But mm -hmm. are you going to change the plays that you want to stick with him? Uh, no. You know, like I said earlier, I mean, each quarterback's a little different. And uh, you need to try to do what that quarterback's really strong in. And you need to, to build around that. So that's what we'll do. Does this affect the way you look at Kyle Frazier at all? Or is he basically the same? Kind of change of pace role that he had when, when Barrett was there. Well, you know, we've tried to gradually bring Kyle along with his package, and uh, he'll continue to have a role, and uh, he's done some good things for us. Are you guys seeing uh, teams kind of dare you to throw? You know, walk eight, nine. I think that's fair to say. Yes, last three weeks, that's very fair to say. Do you feel like you need to give into that and throw more? Uh, yeah, to be successful on offense, you've got to take what the defense gives you, and you've got to be effective to do that, and we've not been very effective the last three weeks doing that. So I think that's our challenge.